we're getting it. It's happening. Hey, I'm Steve Holleran. I'm a director of photography, and we're talking about the launch film that I just shot for the Canon EOS C300 Mark III. We're on board a 747-400 at the Mojave Boneyard, about to shoot a concept that I came up with called Boneyard Ballet. The concept is an ode to flight, human and mechanical, where a ballerina is reincarnated on an abandoned plane. The idea was born out of old backpacking trips I used to take with my dad, who's an airline pilot, and he would point out some of the old planes that were in this particular boneyard and popped into my head as a perfect place to showcase all the different features of the new C300 Mark III, which include extended dynamic range up to 16 and a half stops, 120 frames per second at 4K, autofocus capabilities, internal stabilization. Really an amazing cinema platform. Its form factor has lent itself really well from an AC's perspective in terms of adapting cinematically what we need to do these jobs. Monitoring, we have a 4K output, which has lent itself well to the Teradek 4K transmitter. Monitoring and pulling focus on 4K is really pretty amazing. From a build quality, it's, it's really very impressive. We've got one we've adapted for a gimbal, flew it on a heavy lift drone, small handheld builds for tight spaces, and full-on 30 to 300 big cinema builds with all of the accessories and, and accoutrement. The dynamic range that you can achieve in both the highlights and the shadows just looked incredible. The ability to see detail in all of those ranges was something that you might not have been able to achieve with like a very accessible camera a few years ago. We just did a shot in that cockpit right there of this DC-10, and we had the camera inside shooting out at the ballerina as she was jumping into the sunset, and you probably had a 16-stop differential, and that's one of the toughest areas for a camera to perform and, and capture, say, the instruments inside the cockpit and the sunset and the ballerina on the wing at the same time. And I think we did a pretty good job in a run and gun situation. So I'm pleased with what we accomplished today. And I had a lot of slow-mo shots planned in this piece. I wanted to see the ballerina dancing on the wing, jumping off the wing. I wanted to see her dress flying in the air and catch all that in elegant detail. And being able to do that at 120 frames a second in RAW at 4K was a serious plus. Usually when you're shooting slow motion, you have to either cut down in resolution, cut down a bit rate, or you can't shoot in RAW. And that's a really nice feature on this new camera is that you can kind of do it all. So I'm notorious for doing a lot of handheld shots when I shoot my films or shoot documentaries. I'm always looking for cameras that have stabilization because that little extra bit of smoothness really helps clean up these camera moves that I like to do. With the stabilization on, it was almost completely smooth. It really cleaned up the shot a lot. We also put the C300 Mark III on a drone with a Movi Pro, and we did a pretty cool rotating shot around our ballerina when she was jumping off the end of the wing. Oftentimes, you could get a bunch of vibration from a shot like that. I gotta say, it was like butter. Today we got to fly the new Canon C300 Mark III uh, underneath our drone. It's a fantastic camera to fly on the drone. Uh, it's nice, it's light. Because of that, we can put a bunch of the other stuff on there that we normally wouldn't be able to with the larger, heavier cameras. It's nice, compact, just fits right in there. Breeze to balance, a lot of fun to fly. I think the autofocus capabilities are new and exciting. One of the shots down the aisle on our ballerina, my distance to the ballerina is changing a little bit throughout the shot, and I wanted to see if the autofocus could not get confused between the seats and the ballerina. You know, I had her right in the center of the frame. I thought I did a great job of, of holding her in focus. So one of my favorite things to do as a cinematographer is pick lenses, so it's, it's always exciting to talk about. And this was the first shoot I've ever done where I got to play with the entire range of Canon lenses. And that's a great thing about this new camera is you can switch them out from EAF to PL in an instant, which is really simple, and that's awesome. The 25 to 250 gave me a lot of flexibility on run and gun situations. And once I put it on the camera, I ended up leaving it on for nearly an entire day and not even noticing that it was there. And that was an exciting thing for me because I don't usually shoot zooms. I didn't notice a lot of breathing. I thought the image was very consistent across the entire focal range. I forgot that it was even a zoom at a certain point and it just became an extension of, of my workflow. And, and that was an exciting part about that lens. So we had this specific shot we were trying to get. We're standing on the wing of the 747 right now. We're shooting the big stunt piece, the final crescendo of Boneyard Ballet where a ballerina dances down the wing and dances off the end. And I had the handheld C300 Mark III with the 25 to 250 on it. 
It was an exciting moment to test the camera out, and it was an exciting moment to test this lens out because we had a lot going on in the image. How does it pick up highlights and shadows? How does it pick up movement in slow motion? I thought it performed beautifully. There's no barrel distortion. It ended up being a really pretty shot, and you mistake it for a 35 prime. I think Canon is so well suited for more natural stories that are being told. It's a full-on cinema camera, but it allows you to configure it quite compactly. Canon's been a great support for me over the last couple years in my cinematography career. Since I shot my feature on their C700 full-frame camera, they've allowed me to come into their creative space at Canon Burbank and try out new tools. I see a great future ahead for my relationship with Canon. I see a lot of ways that their cameras can be used on a variety of productions that I do, and I think we'll make a lot of great images in the future.